I'm one of those people who, no matter what I'm doing, no matter what I've accomplished, it's difficult at times for me to give myself grace, right? And before we went live, you were, you were throwing the grace at me, which was incredible. And a part of my brain, when I hear stuff like that makes me say, it makes me think of myself as an imposter. Mm. And this is just me opening up right now. Yeah. Like sometimes I hear those things and it's like, I'm hearing them about somebody else because you and I, we're doing this every day. Like we're, right. we're, we're creating the content we're on the podcast, we're helping people in real life on the streets, we're, we're doing what we do. But at the same time, it can be difficult for me to say, you're doing a good job. Just keep mm-hmm. going, right? I can look at myself and be critical. And I know it's, it's the same thing for a lot of other people out there. Right. It's difficult to look at the past accomplishments, but it's easy to see either what's going wrong or what could be better. Is there something that you do daily that helps you to give yourself grace and, and to focus on grace? Yeah, absolutely, man. Like I, I do a self-evaluation, man, and I keep things in perspective. When I keep things in perspective, knowing where I started from to where I am today, it always put me in a a peak of knowing that I am further than where I was before. Because one small steps, small steps equal great distances. And whenever you take that first step, you can take another step. And as long uh, along that journey, you'll steadily build confidence, you'll build courage, and you'll be able to step into those areas that prevented you from uh, being in in the first place. Now, when it comes to self-awareness, yes, what you just said requires self-awareness mm-hmm. because you said perspective, right? Yeah. Looking at all the things that you have accomplished and all the things that you have done. Right. When did you discover that self-awareness and say to yourself, I'm going to, to do this and focus on this each day? Like, I guess the question might better be, how do you stay self-aware? Like, is there a certain trigger? Like you mentioned triggers. Is there a certain trigger mm-hmm. that you have that causes you to see that perspective to become self-aware? Yeah, I, I develop a strong sense of why. A lot of people quit because they don't have a strong sense of why. They think about the what and not the why. When you think about the what, which is going along the journey, that one key thing, that overall goal that you want to achieve, why do you want to achieve that? Multiple people want to be millionaires, but why do you want to be a millionaire? You won't achieve it just because you want all this money. You got to have a why behind it. And my why is just totally changing the narrative for my kids. Just being that inspiration, that that provider, that, that's giving that sense of hope, like I said before. And if I don't start or be that, uh, that blueprint for them, they'll never know what it looks like. Because kids learn by seeing, not by hearing. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's that narrative that you want to create for them then? First of all, just to create some context here. You've yeah. got four children, right? right? How old are your children? I got three boys, one girl. My oldest is 16. I got another one that'll be 15 the end of the month. I got a 10 year old and I got a four year old. <laughs> You're a busy man. It sounds like very busy, man, man. They all over the place, you know, uh, especially with my older boys, man, they're in high school now. So they got a, a strong understanding. They looking for that identity that I, that acceptance, they're looking for that security and that purpose. So if I'm not able to sit here and dive in deep when it comes down to the things that I'm learning or showing them that, hey, everything that you want to do, as long as you put your mind to it, you put in the work and the effort, you can achieve it too. Don't sit here and think that, oh, I can't do this or I can't do that. You might not be the tallest one in the room. You might not be the fastest one in the room. But guess what? You have a skill that you've been given placed inside of you, man, that nobody can take away from you. You are originally and authentically made, man. And you got to go out here and find that purpose and put it out to the world so everybody can see it. 